Good evening. Adelaide has experienced its first hit of summer for this time of year with the temperature soaring into the mid-30s today. Brenton Raglis joins us now live from Crafers. And Brenton, how hot did it get? Yeah, g'day Kate. Our top today, 34.8. It's still our warmest day in eight months after what was a warm night too. 22 degrees at 2 o'clock this warming up to 28 by 10 a.m. and eventually to our max just shy of the forecast top of 35, 34.8 just after 2 o'clock. And it's sitting just under that right now. And the fire risk still remains. Total fire bans are in place until midnight tonight. And of course, those stronger northerly winds still coming through. We managed to avoid major incidents. However, as Eddie Godfrey reports, the day wasn't incident -free. Three weeks till summer and fire crews are already feeling the heat. This $100,000 crop fire at Roseworthy sparked by a harvester, despite clear warnings from the CFS. They've got to probably listen uh, and we're trying to advise them that today wasn't necessarily a good day. Crews attended nearly 20 minor blazes around the state. On the west coast, danger signs for catastrophic fire conditions prompting some schools to close and barley farmers to work early before strong winds destroyed their crops. They're going to be at risk today. How much is impossible to actually define? Meanwhile, in Adelaide, for many, the hot weather was just a good excuse to get down the beach. Sunburn not the only risk at Glenelg. It's going to be a really hot summer this year, definitely. Lovely day out. Not too hot. Water's magnificent. Some of our favourite zoo animals also kept their cool. These coyotes and baboons given ice blocks for lunch. It's great enrichment because it takes them a while to eat. It slows down the whole process and it's good because it keeps them a bit cooler as well. Eddie Godfrey, Nine News. Now this heat is short-lived though with a cooler southerly change arriving after dark this evening and our best run of showers tomorrow and Friday since mid-October, around 5 to 20 litres. But I'll have the details on the full forecast coming up soon.